Oh, maniac! When I think of what he put me through. Nothing. To what I'm going to put you through now. It's all me now, is it? You didn't enjoy yourself, I suppose. I was having a laugh. Yes, we said that, didn't we, Constable? Some laugh, eh? <laughs> Laughing now, aren't we? Well, I was only scaring him. You're the bloody nutter. I'm the nutter. Well, well, you bloody pushed him, chum. Did I? Did I? I oh, 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 all on my own, what I? Everything's on there, in glorious Dolby mono. Everything you said since I first came in. It's you. You know him? Yes. Paolo Davidovich Gandolfo. No! The pro's pimpernel of the permanent revolution. <sighs> the notorious Trotskyite sports editor of Lotta Continua. The gun, Bartazzo. Use the gun. I wouldn't. Oh, God, no. Don't be fooled, Bartazzo. I can't go off. I only need half a finger to flick this detonator. There is no detonator. Do you want to bet? <laughs> a Krupp's gyroscopic agitator. No, sir. Krupp's gyroscopic agitator. <laughs> Where did that come from? I always keep a few knick-knacks handy. Put the tape recorder on the desk. The gun. Join your colleagues. What are you going to do with that tape? Make a few hundred copies, spread them around. Plenty of scandal, Miss Folletti. You ought to be pleased. You lot won't be around to see it, of course. What do you mean? Uh, keys, please, Miss Folletti, both of them. Every copper in Milan will have orders to shoot me on sight. I need a good start. Thank you. What are you doing? This bomb will explode in five minutes precisely. No! Yes. Help! You're a madman! Exactly. You can't intend to commit slaughter in cold blood. Why ever not? Do you think they wouldn't have an even look at them, Miss Folletti? The children of Hitler and Mussolini. <laughs> Same breed as the Pinochets of today. You can't take the law into your own hands. Do I have a choice? Justice must be administered openly through the courts. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It's a nice idea, isn't it? <laughs> you kill them and you're no better than they are. You just demonstrate your extremist contempt for democracy. Well said, Miss Folletti. Help! What sort of democracy requires the services of scum like these? I'll tell you, Miss Folletti. A bourgeois democracy, which wears a thin skin of human rights to keep out the cold. But when things hot up, when the rotten plots of the ruling class have failed to silence our demands, when they put half the population on the door, Queue and squeeze the other half dry with wage cuts to keep themselves in profit when they have run out of promises and you reformists have failed to keep the masses in order for them and there are riots on the streets then they shed their skins and they dump you don't they just as they did in Chile and they set their wildest dogs loose on us all for God's sake are you both crazy there's only three minutes left and you start having a political debate oh, Mr. Letty. what has the tragedy in Chile got to do with all this it's hmm? a prize example of the failure of the peaceful road to socialism oh fucking hell <laughs> You know, the absurd idea that bourgeois democracy can be gradually transformed from within. Rubbish! Help! Allende's failure proves exactly the opposite. He tried to force the pace of the revolution before the people were fully prepared. For God's sake! Two minutes! You mean he disarmed the workers too fast and led them like the Pied Piper into Santiago Stadium? Look at them, Miss Valetti, the political police armed against the people. You seriously suppose you can disarm them with a ballot box? What the hell do you think they're there for? Rubbish! Jesus! You're an extremist, a hooligan, a fanatic. I shan't allow you to go through with this outrage. Bravo! You'll have to kill me too. One minute. You got the stomach for that? Hmm? No. Have you got the stomach for this? The keys to the handcuffs. I'm off. You can't chuck the bomb out of the window. Public street. So release them, write your story. The evidence dies with me. These four will undoubtedly be acquitted. Don't release them. You join the ranks of the dreaded extremists. It's all yours, Miss Valetti. She has to decide, you see. Some of these questions just can't be resolved gradually. So let's see what she decides.
Now that's what we call a happy ending. The extremist winning hands down. However, this is British television. We are obliged to show you both sides of the argument. Maria Faletti is a decent woman. She would ensure that the rule of law prevails. She knows. She knows everything. She was such a lovely woman. Could it be that there is only one answer? Good night. <laughs>